everyone, welcome. Sana Victoria is here, this talented little actress, and she's here to talk about her upcoming show, The Pains, on Oprah's network own, so stay tuned. You're tuning into the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm your host, Veronica Bariga. You are watching Mini Spotlight, and today our talented guest is the one and only Sanaya Victoria. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. How are you tonight? I am amazing. Amazing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Most people say good. I like hearing that. Amazing. Um, you know what's amazing? Your TV show. It is. It is amazing. <laughs> so this is really cool. Um, the reason I say it's amazing is because it's actually a spin-off yes. of Tyler Perry's House of Pain. Yes. Tell us about the character you play. I play Lynn. She is very wise beyond her years. Oh. She's seven years old, but she tries to get in the grown-ups business a lot because she thinks she's like a grown-up, but they just make sure she stays in her lane. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in your lane, girl, but no, no, no. I would advise you to actually, you know, <laughs> be mischievous and, and, and curious, right? Yeah. What, um, I know you're, you're a brand new character because they brought back uh, Curtis and, um, and Ella. Yes. And they're the, sort of, the show revolves around them, right? Yes. What, who else is new, uh, or the other characters that are new? Can you tell us about them? There's uh, Jack Hay, Jack Hay Harry. Uh huh. And then there aren't that many. There's uh, JD McQuarrie. Uh huh. And then there's Marquise Moore. Okay, and what is their roles? Like, what are their characters? So, Jack Hay and Marquise. Marquise is Jack Hay's son. Okay. And then Jack Hay is Curtis's cousin. Okay, I yes. like that. And then, oh, and then there's also Stephanie Charles, and she plays my mom. Okay. And then J.D. McCreary plays my brother. I love it. I love it. It's a family affair. Yeah. Um, so there's lots of uh, real characters on this show, and they're so fun to watch. Yes. Um, I was curious, does anyone on the show remind you of anyone you know in real life? I think. Everybody has their own little personality. They're all different. Uh -huh. I feel like maybe sometimes I have a friend who might act like one of them, and sometimes uh -huh. I have a different friend. It's, it's so cool. Okay, you love yeah. it. Yeah. What? Um. So this is on Oprah's channel. Yes, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Network. Winfrey Network. I love it. You're like yes. Oh, Miss Oprah Winfrey, <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> Speaking of Oprah, um, did you? I don't know if it was past your bedtime or, or not, but did you see her on the Golden Globes? Did you get to see? her speech? I did see it. I thought it was amazing. Were you like, what was your reaction when you saw it? I was just so amazed with the way she presented herself. I was just, wow, because I look up to Oprah. Yeah. yeah. We all do, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is it. Yes, she is. <laughs> have, you, have you met Oprah before? I haven't met Oprah myself. Okay, okay. I think you will, yeah. because you have the connection there. So maybe she'll stop by set, <laughs> yeah. and we can all just ah, freak yeah. out. <laughs> Make sure to post it on your Instagram if she stops I by. I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so what's it like to work with Tyler Perry? Is he is he on set a lot? Or? Oh, my goodness. So Tyler Perry, he is the director, producer, oh, writer. Directing. Okay, okay. Yes. So he's always on set. But it is an opportunity, it is an amazing opportunity to work with him. He's just such a genius, and I think that it's just, you can do so much more when you have other people to help you guide you. Oh my gosh, he's the best. Yes. You're in such great hands. <laughs> what, um, what, has he told you any secrets about, um, you know, maybe like, for performing or, or understanding the script? Has he give you, given you any little advice here and there? Or? Mm, no. But he has just told us to do whatever feels comfortable. Well, that's good advice, too. Yeah. yeah. That's our, that's why it comes across so, like, authentic on screen. Yeah. Yeah, he's good at that. Um, all right. And you've been on uh, tons of Disney shows, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, we actually, you were on Girl Meets World. I was. And we had um, Ava, uh, Ava Coker here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> just, I've seen, is she your friend? I yeah. saw you guys. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> that is so much fun. I love when, when the kids all know each other and yeah. you guys cross paths. Um, what, what did you play on Girl Meets World? I played Emma Weathersby. So she went to Augie's 
elementary school. Okay. And so they knew each other because Emma and Ava were kind of like rivals ah. because <laughs> Emma and Ava liked Augie. Okay. So then they'd be like, I said this first, no, you said that. So it was like a little, like a little tug of war. Like a, like a love triangle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, and you, this is really cool. So you worked with Nia Long. Yes. Sir. She's like a legend. She's been she in everything and, and super talented. Um, and you played her daughter. Yes. But what was, what was that like? It was amazing because she gave me just so much advice. She acted like she was my actual mom on set. <laughs> and it was, it, it just felt like, a cool opportunity to work with such amazing actors and yeah. actresses on the set. What did you, so you played her daughter, but it was yes. the remake of, of Beaches, Of right? Beaches, the 1989 version. Yeah. With Seth Mittler and Barbara Hershey. Oh, see, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that one. <laughs> you got it good. All right, um, and Blackish. Oh my God, everybody loves Blackish. Yes. Um, what What were you doing on Blackish? So on Blackish, I played the Johnson family's cousin. Okay. I played cousin Diamond and then I had my siblings uh -huh. and we came to their house and so normally it's like we're like really strong and we like to fight and stuff and so we were supposed to come over there and like beat them up but then uh -huh. they came up here different and then they started beating up stuff. It was hilarious. <laughs> Did you guys actually start? I didn't oh, watch that no, episode. No, no. What do you mean, like, beat them up? Yeah. So, like, well, <clears throat> normally when we're, like, before on of, on other episodes, uh -huh. we, like, kind of collide and, like, oh, I guess we okay, like, like a rivalry. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. Normally we're the ones who uh, win the game and then they're the ones who are losing, but this time this they time. came prepared. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so this is, uh, this is so interesting. You started in the pageant world. Yes. Right? I did. And I did. you won your first pageant when you were six years old? Yes. Can you tell us about that? What is what yeah, that like? It was called National American Miss. It was an amazing system. It just mm -hmm. really teaches you how what like what to do when like to do pageant interviews. Or not just pageant, but like yeah. interviews, interviewing, they do personal introduction, formal yeah. wear. It just teaches it teaches you elegance, poise, yeah. and it's just Amazing because you get to meet new friends from all over the country. That's fun. Yeah. Um, that I feel like that is such a an amazing program that can prepare you to move into acting, yes. right? Yes. Because if you can do pageants and, and win pageants, you could probably do anything. Yeah. To me, that's difficult. Because <laughs> all the girls are talented, you know, all the yeah. girls are, 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 are lovely. But to win it, you you did it. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And you won, um, so then, and then you also did a Miss Pre, Miss Teen, no wait, sorry, wait. It was. Miss Pre-Teen, that's it. Miss Junior Pre-Teen. Junior, oh, is that yes. Junior Pre-Teen. All right. Yes. So what, um, and that was a couple years ago? Yes, I think that was like three years ago, 2015. Okay, cool. Yeah. And what, so run us through like a day of getting ready for, for a pageant. What's that like? Like what it time do you wake up? It's a very hectic schedule. <laughs> so when you do a pageant, there is, at, at NAM there's a week. Okay. And so you do different things every single day. So first, so you could do well. So on Tuesday, like on Monday, you go. I think you go on Sunday. Okay. So then you go to check in, and then you go to the registration. Yeah. And then you go, and then on Sunday, I mean <laughs> Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. You have a day at Disneyland, which is amazing. Oh well, that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that part. Yeah. <laughs> and then on Wednesday, you have the personal introduction okay. and interviews, and then on Thursday, you have the formal wear. Oh. And then Okay. Friday is the last day that when you do the, like, talent, like, all optional contests, like, okay. casual wear, modeling, and then on Saturday is the day when they choose the winner. Oh, wow. So it really is a full week-long event. Yes. Okay. And um, what was your talent? Because I know you have, you play the piano, right? Yes, I do play the piano. And you sing? Yes, I sing, I dance, I play the piano. And yeah. I actually started learning the ukulele. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. yeah. A little, little guitar. Yeah, 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 the mini guitar. That's always fun. Um, so you um, have, I, a little birdie told me that you have a six-song EP coming out? Yes, I do. What? That's amazing. <laughs> Can you tell us about that? Um, well, 
Well, it's basically just about empowering young girls around my age, like, so they can do the right thing and I that they're it. hanging out with, with friends, yeah. like the right friends, yeah. and they're, it's someone's lonely, you can go make them friends. Like, it's just about making people, making the world a better place. That is very Oprah Winfrey of you. (laughs) (laughs) She's going to love your album. (laughs) That's really good stuff. That's what it's about, right? Helping others and just spreading spreading joy and and good energy. Um, So, and oh, and you also have a book coming out. I do. Tell us about that. So the book is going to be about what a perspective is from a child actress. That's brilliant. Yes. Okay. So there will be more details about it. (laughs) I love it. I love it. That's the teaser. You're going to have to buy it to to get more. (laughs) So before we go, uh, tell everyone where they can find you on on Instagram. So on Instagram, I am am Sanai Victoria, S-A-N-A-I. And it would be amazing to see who the new people are. Yeah. Yeah. And she just got verified, you guys. (laughs) Yeah. I love that. Uh, And I'm Veronica Briga. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, Veronica B Online. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV.